uh, initially reported about 35, but from I think what he actually admitted on a radio show, it was, it was more like about 45,000. And it was done in an underhanded way, and uh, of course, uh, it slipped through at the last minute, and uh, no one's claimed authorship of this, but uh, do we now know who actually uh, was, was a culprit here? Yeah, we do, actually. Uh, it was Neil Reiser, and that's who, uh, uh, again, Tom Aswell had uh, suspected. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, think, I mean, th think about it. Uh, Neil Reiser was the guy who was running uh, for Congress up in North Louisiana, the same seat right. that Bobby Jindal was, and the rest of the Republican uh, Party was very uh, uh, supportive of, of his campaign, uh, the one that uh, McAllister uh, won. Um, now, uh, you know, Riser is, you know, I mean, Riser has won, uh, I think, three years in a row, uh, the State Police Award for Legislator of the Year. And he's the one who brings this in, in the committee uh, and, um, in, in, and uh, tells his, uh, basically tells staff, the staff attorney, to put it together. And then he, uh, when C.B. Fogotson, as I understand it, had uh, asked Riser about it, uh, sent him an email, and uh, Riser said that you know the first he knew about it was when he saw it in, in the report. And uh, but then when things got hot, you know he admitted that he had told um, the, the staff staffer attorney to do it. And, yeah. Now now the, the uh, a flat out well, lie. Yeah. Well, you know I, there could be some you know. Wiggle room there. I mean, uh, could be. Uh, I, I, you know, to say it's a lie, I, I don't know. But I can mm -hmm. say this: that the fact that he waited so long until things really got hot, and uh, to me, I think really stinks. So, so look at look at look at who the people of the fifth district had as a choice between uh, in the last election. Uh, who I consider uh, a scoundrel, uh, this uh, Vance McAllister, the kissing congressman. And now a guy who's been exposed is inserting this uh, legislation in at the last minute uh, and then uh, I think lying about it. You can call it whatever you want, Neil Reiser. That was their choice uh, in the last election uh, in the uh, runoff. Uh, two, I think, uh, very, uh, let's just say, less than outstanding uh, politicians. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, I, I don't disagree with that in terms of this particular issue uh, yeah. regarding Reiser. Uh, I don't know enough about him personally to, to have any other opinion about other issues. But I will right. say that I will say that uh, you know I think that the to me the main question is why didn't Governor General speak out about that? Why is he only speaking out uh, about the contract with mm -hmm. Park and and and. Uh, uh, you know, when he had a meeting with John White, he basically, you know, did a uh, Reagan Stockman, uh, took him to the woodshed and talked and talked about ethics and government and uh, prior administrations. Right. Well, I mean, here's a real good chance. Here's a real right. good chance for Governor Jindal to get up to get up in front of the public and say, you know, I messed up. I really right. messed up. Uh, and and my my uh, uh, colonel uh, uh, head of super, the superintendent of uh, state police really messed up. And this is the kind of uh, this is the kind of stuff that we really should not stand for.